Do you dream of sailing off into the sunset, spending the day on a sandy beach, or maybe staying overnight in your three-bedroom giant sailboat, but just have one problem? You can't afford any of that? Well, that doesn't mean you can't go sailing. It just means you need more realistic goals. And in this video, we're going to look at sailboats that might not have three bedrooms or might not be able to sail around the world, but they're under $2,000. My most popular videos to date have been two videos about buying small sailboats. The one that I bought and fixed up and how much I spent on it, and another one that was just a guide on buying a small sailboat. And while I've moved on to a slightly bigger sailboat and make videos about my sailing adventures, I do want to give back and help people who want to get into this hobby, who want to start to sail and begin the journey like I did. So once in a while I'm going to make a video like this so we can look at different price ranges of sailboats and what's currently for sale. Now there are different sailboats in different parts of the world and prices will vary because of that. But right now it's 2021, we're just coming out of the pandemic and boat prices are probably higher than they usually are. For cheaper sailboats like this I'm going to be searching Craigslist in a price range from $500 to $2,000. So we get some results here that I'll open. Um, I'm focusing on boats that actually have a cabin, so you could stay overnight for a weekend or a little longer if you wanted to. And I'm going to avoid boats like sailing dinghies or little racing boats. They can actually cost a lot more than $2,000, but um, for this one we'll focus on mostly just sailboats that would be more of a typical type of sailboat. We're going to be going from cheapest to most expensive, which isn't a very big spread this time because it's only $500 to $2,000. But our first cheapest boat is a 23 AMF pay ship, and it'll be the junkiest boat on today's list. It says it's a project boat with a centerboard stuck inside. The person doesn't have time to fix it, and it has uh, a new rudder, tiller, and good sails. This is what it probably looked like when it wasn't an old piece of junk. It says here the pace ship yacht was built in Nova Scotia between 73 and 1981. I really don't think you're going to want to make this a real sailboat. It even says possibly a playhouse for kids. So these are the kind of boats that I would completely avoid. Don't even look at it for more than 30 seconds. It's out there, but this is something where you'll probably just do more fixing than you will sailing, and in the end, you'll spend way more than a boat that was already fixed up. All right, our next cheap boat is a $500 boat called a Sonar 23 with a trailer. It says it needs some fiberglass work, but the trailer's in great shape. It also says it needs to get it out of here, so... Could you get it for free? Maybe. Wow, look at the uh, keel on this thing. It sits really high off the trailer. This one's kind of an interesting find because it says here the sonar was inducted into the American Sailboat Hall of Fame in 2004, and it was a one-design trailerable racing sailboat designed in Canada. Later on, it would be developed into a more cruising-oriented Blazer 23 using the same hull. Huh. That's actually a pretty nice trailer for 500 bucks. And you might look at this and go, I'm just going to go pick this up. It's only $500. However, look at the details, and there's really none. If, there, if it was a good boat, the owner would probably list a bunch of details about it. It looks like the hull has even got a crack in it. You know, any of these you could make into sailing vessels. It's just a matter of how much time and money you want to spend and whether you want to go sailing or actually just fix a boat for the rest of your life. If it didn't have a big crack in the side of the hull, these look pretty cool. One design keel boats, it's a high performance racer or comfortable day sailor. They produce 700 boats since 1980. Huh. Well anyways, this one is a pass. All right, next up, a 29.5 cal sailboat for a thousand bucks. Wow, you can get a 29 foot sailboat for a thousand dollars. Now this is an 8,000 pound boat made from 68 to 74. More than a thousand were built. They don't give a specific number, but 29 and a half feet for a thousand dollars. Come on, too good to be true. So let's look at some of the details on this. Uh, unless you're an extensive rebuilder or just want to spend your whole life rebuilding this particular boat, I already say no, but we got to look at it. Now it says the roller furling and rigging is in great shape. It needs a lot of wood repaired inside, no soft spots, and without the engine, asking $1,000. So 
what is an engine for this thing, like 10 or 15 grand? Um, or you can't put a big outboard on this. I'm sure you could, but you wouldn't want to. So, you know, this is going to be a problem boat for anyone who buys it. And um, again, I'm making this series to show you what's out there. I just say avoid this kind of thing. All this rotten wood was caused by water intrusion, and that water has gone everywhere you can't see also. So pretty much the whole inside of the boat and all of its wiring needs to be replaced. I'm going to say walk away from stuff you see that's like this. I just can't imagine anyone buying this and towing it to their anchorage and then starting to work on it or where they'd even start. It's just way too big of a project. Um, yeah, so moving on. Okay, well, come on, one of these sailboats has to be worth buying that's under $2,000. Our latest entry is a 76 Irwin 10 4 sailboat, $1,000. Hmm, well, look at this. Open to all trades, Jusg ask. The Irwin 10 4 was made from 1975 to 1982 with a draft of 6.6 .6 feet with centerboard extended and 2.75 feet with it retracted, her name, Irwin 10-4, actually becomes from the beam of 10 feet 4, not the length of the boat like most sailboats. It's said that she's stable in a breeze, but in light air she's slow. Alright, well in this particular example it says it's a 25 foot sailboat with a 10 foot beam, super sought out. I've lived on it for 6 months, it did great for me, he upgraded to a bigger boat. Needs new chain plates um, and mast are, or it needs new chain plates and rigging. Mast is in good condition. Comes with sail picks are from before I moved off. Could use new electrical, no inboard motor. So this is a motor, a boat without an inboard motor. It's 25 feet. You could put an outboard on this though easily. Um, it's free and clear of all belongings. So let's take a look at some more of the pictures. So I would say if you want to live on this boat, you could probably do that. But to have to redo the chain plates and all the rigging and all the electrical and get an engine for it, I'm just going back to the fact that you could just buy a boat that already has stuff like that that operates instead of trying to buy it all and spending two years making it all work. On the other hand, this boat might have some potential. And if you only have $1,000 to spend, this could get you started and you could nickel and dime it as you saved up your money and eventually have a decent little sailboat. All right, and as it turns out, this next boat is in kind of our local area where we go power boating, so we've probably seen it, but it's a Grampian uh, G26 1972, and this boat's actually being sailed. Pretty cool. It's not just a boat that's a piece of junk. It, oil leaks on the motor, it says, and um, you know some things need to be rebedded and there's plenty of problems with it it sounds like however it actually sails that's a good start it doesn't cost very much it's only one thousand dollars so i like this boat a lot better than some of the other ones just because it actually is being sailed and it has uh, a mainsail in fair condition hank on jib in fair condition so you know none of this is going to be great you could spend thousands and thousands of dollars making this boat better but at least you're off to a good start with a boat that actually can sail and it's floating in the water there were about 980 Grampian G26 sailboats made from 67 to 1977. You can find a lot more information about these boats online if you want to look. If you're interested in buying a certain boat, you know, take a look around YouTube and Wikipedia or some other places on the internet to find more out. You can find out a lot about what's good, what has parts, what was a bad boat, what wasn't made for very long, and things like that. But so far, this doesn't look like a bad used boat. If you're thinking of buying a sailboat under 26 feet, I highly recommend the Sailor's Book of Small Cruising Sailboats. I've recommended this in previous videos. Got every boat ever made under 26 feet and a lot of good information about each one. Keep in mind as we do this that this will be a series with different sailboats at different costs and different videos. But in this video, we're just looking at boats under $2,000. So we're not really getting very nice boats here, but it's just interesting to see what's out there when you hardly have any money to spend on a boat. All right, moving on. The McGregor 22, recreational keel boat, fiberglass, wood trim. It's 1,800 pounds, has 500 pounds of ballast. Um, you know what, that's a lot like a Catalina 22. It's normally fitted with a three to six horsepower outboard, just like the Catalina 22. McGregor was a pretty popular 22 foot boat. 
It can have five people, but no, you don't want five people, even on my 28 foot boat. Um, it has a little dinette table that converts into a berth and this, that, and the other thing. Wikipedia and sailboatdata.com show this boat made in the 60s, but my sailboat book shows it was from 1981 to 1986. The owner of this particular McGregor 22 took the time to take some nice pictures and show the sails laid out on his lawn and all the interior photographs that you can inspect and see everything. So that's nice. He probably knows a little bit about the boat and probably sailed it, knows what's wrong with it. You can't expect much here, but at least you have someone trying to make an effort to sell their boat. And this actually looks like a pretty good start. It says here that um, it has a pop top it's got a draft of five foot six with the keel cranked down and 18 inches with it up. That's real similar to a Catalina 22 and it weighs 1800 pounds. So it's here you can even have two dogs or three adults inside. All right, so far we're not getting much for under $2,000, but here's a 1991 Compact 16 for $1,500. This is gonna be the newest and smallest boat we've looked at so far in this list, but there were 2,800 Compact sailboats made uh, starting in 1972 all the way to 2006. So you're going to be able to find parts for this boat. It's newer, so it probably has a lot less damage and a lot less things wrong with it. And you can still sleep two people inside. So while it's smaller and everyone wants a bigger boat for their money, this is probably a better boat for your money. It says here this is a shoal draft keel currently on a trailer at the Sarasota Sailing Squadron. It's in good shape, includes all sail, four horsepower Johnson motor and trailer. It even gives you a Wikipedia link about the boat. I mean, this is a no-brainer. This boat's going to give you a lot of sailing experience. It's probably in great shape, and you'll actually sail instead of fixing a boat. The only problem might be is that if you sail in an area with waves or out in the Gulf or on an ocean, a 16-foot boat is probably not going to be safe for that. All right, and our next cheap sailboat, an Ensenada 20 for $1,500. Huh, 20 feet long. It's a little bigger than the last one, but not quite as big as a Catalina 22. It says it's a trailer sail, a swing keel, and in the water now. Come check it out. Trailers included, can sleep four. Main sail and jib are fair. 150 Genoa in very good condition. Six horsepower available for $400 more. That's a good deal on an outboard. Um, if it runs. So I like this. Look at they show the trailer, show the boat, and they have an interior picture too. So it's a nice ad. The information I could find says this was made from 72 to 81, but that may not be accurate. There's a question mark next to it. You know, when you look at these little boats, you may not get exactly what you want in a boat. You might get what you want in a price. But I think in all in all, it's better to find something that you can actually sail and get experience sailing, not just fix for months and months or years. All right, let's check out our next boat, a Starwind 19 for $1,600 in 1982. You know, in my sailboat book, it says the best feature, it says it was a nicely conceived, well-made boat for the size and era. Worst feature, we could not find a significant one to mention. That's pretty cool because most of the sailboats in my book have a worst feature. So this sounds like a pretty good boat. Let's look at the details. Does it get much better than this for this price range? It says the sails are in new condition, includes a trailer. Um, so for $1,600, I don't know how you could do much better than a boat like this. You're going to just sail away the night you get it and learn how to sail and become a better sailor, um, not learn how to fix diesel engines or or um, problems with sailboats. The only problem I see here is that even though there's a gas can on the ground in the pictures, I don't see any mention of an outboard or an outboard motor on the boat. And you know, you could spend $1,500 on an outboard motor. Uh, so that could play a big part in this. If it doesn't have one, you could easily um, be up into the $2,500 range. And these are supposed to be boats under $2,000. And uh, so that's something to watch out for. So the next in line price-wise is a 1976 sailing canoe and trailer. I know this isn't really the kind of sailboat we're supposed to be looking at, but I thought it was funny and I wanted to throw it in here. Um, without a keel. Oh, there's the keel. Huh. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like a very heavy keel. So, um, you know, this could be interesting just to get back to little islands or fool around in a lake or something like that. But um, for almost $2,000, not exactly the sailboat I want to be in. 
All right, we are almost at the top of our price range with a $1,900 sailboat called the Irwin 23. All right, let's see what the ad says. 1972 Irwin sailboat, title in hand, great weekend boat to start your sailing adventures with. Perfect for Florida's West Coast. Well, the Mr. Irwin who designed these boats was from Tampa, so that makes sense. Launch fees already paid, whatever that means. If you don't plan to trailer, you should take this opportunity to bottom paint it. Um, minimal work to get her ready for the summer. Okay, so I think, you know, this is probably a pretty good boat to get going with. Let's check out some of the pictures. Now, keep in mind that bottom painting is pretty expensive. Even if you do it yourself, it's hundreds of dollars per gallon and a lot of work, but this looks like a good start. You could slap some on and just go for it if you didn't really want to do a lot of prep. Um, again, don't see an outboard motor, so here's where we get to another $1,000 uh, easily. But it looks like a shoal draft keel and maybe some damage on the back of the keel, so a little work to do. It's kind of nice that it's out of the water, though. You get to kind of understand your boat before you launch it if the yard will let you do a little work on it. it. says in my sailboat book here that the construction quality was just so-so on these boats, so it's worth a good check. But all in all, this looks like a pretty solid boat for under $2,000. Too bad, though. It's kind of a letdown. No motor. Now we are at our upper limit of $2,000, a 1985 Tanzer 7.5 liveaboard sailboat, 2000 bucks. I never like when it says liveaboard because I just think, you know, someone's just in this thing every day. Are they going to the bathroom? They're cooking, uh, just generally wearing the thing out. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Available liveaboard trailerable sailboat needs new chain plates with rigging to get the mast up. So... I don't know, 2000 bucks for something that doesn't even sail. It's a 1985. There were a little less than 800 of these boats made, and actually after doing a little research on them, they don't look too bad. They have a self-tacking jib, so if you're a solo sailor, that would be kind of nice to have. Um, but otherwise, it's just a cheap sailboat. You know, when you go to look at a boat like this, it's just out in the water, so you're going to just be on someone's dinghy getting rowed out there or maybe on their paddle board, uh, just to go look at it, you might want to take your snorkel and mast to dive under to see what you see, but you really can't do a good inspection. With these kind of boats, it's kind of a crapshoot, whereas the ones that are on a trailer, you can really get a good look at what's going on and meet the owner and talk to him about it in his backyard. All right, so what have we learned here? Looking at 12 boats that were under $2,000, I would say the zero to $1,000 boats are not worth looking at. They're in too bad a condition. If you just want to live on one, I could see that doesn't really matter. Buy one of those. But if you actually want to sail, you need to get into the $1,200 to $2,000 range. And really, you know, it would be nice to buy one of these boats without a motor. You get a little bit better boat. And then you buy like a new motor and you know it's going to start every time and know it's going to be a good condition. And maybe, yeah, you spent 3000 in the end, but the boat's good. I would also try and look at these boats that are out of the water because you can really see the bottom paint. You can do a little work to them before they go back in the water. And I think you'd have a good start. But always remember in these cheap sailboats, don't buy a big 30-foot sailboat that needs a lot of work. There's no way a new sailor is going to be doing any sailing anytime soon unless they're retired and don't have a job, all they're gonna do is work on that boat. So I recommend these smaller sailboats that are cheap, that are out of the water, that you can do some work to and get them going and learn how to sail. You know, usually we just make videos of our own sailing adventures, but it's kind of fun to look and see from time to time what's for sale in certain price ranges when it comes to sailboats. Next time we do this, we'll be checking for sailboats between three and $10,000. Let's see if we can get something a little better. Thanks for joining us.